We're going to do, uh, this, uh, this one is Rhythm Workshop, What Would Jimmy Do, Part 2, 40 More Ways to Play a C Chord, um, Guitar Player Magazine, I think, hmm, October, I think, 2013, by Jesse Gress. <clears throat> and we were based on, we were basing our, this shape on the C major bar chord shape. And so the first, what we're going to do is, is this is example two, and uh, of that lesson. And so your first, second finger is going to go on the eighth fret on the B string, and then your first finger is going to go on the seventh fret on the G string. So what we have, <coughs> excuse me, we have the fifth on the top. We're going to have a C chord shape like this. The fifth degree, one, two, three, four, five of a major scale. All right. And so the first example of example two is basically this. You're going to hammer on. It's a grace note, so it's quick. It's like a just one chord note. Okay. Next one is a sixteenth followed by an eighth. And the, we're just going to do the exact same thing again. All right. And hold on a second, I'm going to have to. Just, so if we do that with a, so if I do it with our C chord, you know, remember the sample chord progression basically was we're going to play C, then G, then D, just like Hey Joe, then A, then E. C here we go. Now G with the fifth on the top would be here. So oh, sorry. And then A would be here. And then E would be up here. Fifth on top. So we have G. It would be right here at the third fret. Sorry, D would be here, right here, be at the, so you put all these moves to, to these chords, and A would be here at the second finger would be at the fifth fret, then E would be a second finger at the twelfth fret. That's how I kind of keep track of it. So I have C at the third fret for G, right, D at the tenth fret. And then E at the twelfth. Uh, sorry, A at the fifth fret. And E. All right. Now I'm not going to put it through every one through a chord progression, but you get the general idea of what's going on there. Uh, the next one, uh, we'll just stick to C for now. First finger on the eighth fret, and then second finger on the seventh. We're going to do uh, kind of a sixteenth note followed by an eighth. Dig a da or one e and one e and. So it goes. We're going to go hammer on, nine, pull off, and then play your pinky on ten on the D string. So, again, all right, that's the third example. Next example, you're going to do a hammer on, same rhythm, but this time you're not going to pull off to seven and eight. You're going to pick it and go to ten. So, so dig a da. Alright. Next one, you're going to do sixteenths. So it's going to go one, E, and a. Uh. So you're going to do hammer on, nine, while you're playing eight and seven. Then pull off, and then ten. Keep on playing that. Next one, you're going to go seven and nine, and then play seven and eight. So hammer on on the nine, then play seven, eight, and ten. These are sixteenth notes. One E and a. One, one e and a. <clears throat> Next one, you're going to play the seven and eight again. 
then hammer on, then pl just pl uh, pick the 7, 8, then 10. So, so we have. Again, we're going to go with 7, hammer on, then play 7, 8, then play 10. Next one, you're going to play the 7 and 8, hammer on, pull off. This is a triplet, so it's going to sound like this. You're going to do hammer on, pull off on the G string, and then play 10 on, on the D string. Next one, you're going to move it up, so this will be a 9 and 8. This is kind of a cool lick, it's becoming a sus chord. We're looking at a C chord, so my first finger is going to go on 9 on the G string, and my first finger is going to, sorry, my second finger is going to go on 9 on the G string, and then my second finger, first finger is going to go on 8 on <clears throat> the B string. And you're going to do a hammer on pull off on the G string, 10th fret. And then play 10 on the D string. Sixteenths, one and uh, and the next one will go nine and ten, and then you play, which is a grace note. Same first finger on the eighth fret, second finger on the ninth fret. Then pick the nine and eight. Then play seven, first finger on the seven on the G string, and second finger on eight on the B string, and then ten. So we have. Again, sorry. Again. And don't forget to put it through those chord progressions, and that should keep you busy for a bit. So we, you, now you have a, a there's 20, and we've got 20 more to go. Anyways, we'll see you next time, and I hope that helps. Take care. Bye bye.